Hey guys, it's Sash, and in this video, I want to give you guys some very important tips for defending your loot after the update. As you guys know, there's no more free shields. You can't get a free shield by placing your town hall on the outside and getting it sniped. So how can I maximize my loot protection and minimize my loss after the update? First, do not remove the tombstones from your base. Before the update, it was very important to remove the tombstones from your farming base after an attack to show attackers that your base is active and traps are armed for intimidation, which increased the probability that attackers would attack your outside town hall, giving you a free shield. As this will no longer be the case, you want to quickly attract bad attackers before the good attackers attack you, so keep those tombstones. Next, if you're using a hybrid base with the town hall not at the center, then make sure your clan castle is guarding the town hall. This is to force attackers into using more troops so you get shield, as otherwise trophy pushers will still try to conserve their troops and, and still break in and snipe your town hall with their archer queen. Uh, you need to make sure they use more than one third your maximum housing space to get that shield. Next, place your collectors outside. You want shield, right? You want to get attacked by weaker attackers, right? Then you have to place your collectors outside. Why? Because this attracts those outside barge attackers who will attack the outside of your base, basically your collectors, and deal more than 30% so you get shield. To make this work, you will also need to keep some of the resource in your collectors. Don't collect them all. Uh, they will attack the collectors and get you your shield. Obviously, it's much better getting attacked by a barge attacker than a co-wipe attacker. Next, you should semi-protect your Dark Elixir Drills. Don't fully protect them. Place your Dark Elixir Drills behind your Gold and Elixir Collectors and other non-defensive structures. Why? Because weaker attackers love attacking easy to get Dark Elixir. Some don't even know how to calculate how much Dark Elixir there is inside a drill, so they may even attack it without noticing that it's empty. And having those drills semi-protected makes sure that attackers don't just deploy a few troops and snipe your drills and leave, but instead destroy a bunch of buildings and also use a good amount of troops so you get that shield. Next, move out your non-defensive buildings outside more, except your collectors, out of range of defenses. This, this makes it easier for those attackers to simply use archers to grab that 50% so that they can get that shield if they are short of damage. Kind of like how people use builder huts in corners of bases in wars to time out attackers. But the idea here is to help attackers get that 50%. Why? Because if an attacker sees that your base is easy to 50% with the most common farming armies such as Barge, Bam, G Barge, then attacker will be more keen on attacking you. And of course you want to attract these types of attackers, not those poor inefficient farmers who use armies like Go Wipe to farm with. Next, make sure your town hall is protected more. Remember, a town hall now carries loot equivalent to one gold storage plus one elixir storage plus one fourth a dark elixir storage. So make sure you have more defensive firepower covering your town hall. But don't also forget to have your dark elixir storage well protected. The dark elixir storage will still be the storage most farmers will focus on getting. They will of course also want your town hall more now, but the dark elixir storage is still more precious to most attackers. Next, don't worry if your gold or elixir storages aren't as well protected as your dark elixir storage or your town hall. It's impossible to have a balanced protection for all your storages now uh, with so many storages scattered, adding in the fact that the town hall weighs more than two storages. Not only that, a lot of people are also forgetting the fact that gold and elixir storages will now carry less loot inside them to steal since the overall exploitable loot is shared with the town hall. Uh, so they're a little less valuable, which means that you shouldn't focus too much on securing everything in your core. If you have a bunch of storages and town hall in the core, then I can already tell you that that will be a bad base. Why? Because that would mean that you have a large core, and large cores are easy to break inside of and also attract heavier attackers, not barge, and have less defensive coverage because defenses are kept further apart. Lastly, 
Builder huts should be on the outside, unless you need them inside to fill in voids to act as decoys for wall breakers or for funneling purposes. Otherwise, builder huts are small and fragile, which is perfect for, for attackers to deal more damage on you because you want to get hit by 30% damage for shield. So who cares about the builder huts? So these are basically some of the exploits to the system and I agree with Supercell making the needed changes to prevent players from placing their town halls on the outside but what I don't agree with is the whole complicated system. I'm not a fan of complication. If it's not a simple fix then you're gonna see drastic changes to the game and in time you'll see pe people catching up with the flaws. It just doesn't sound right. Uh, that we have to now attract attackers in ways to obtain shield and minimize our losses. If I could give advice to the developers, I would start with one idea. Try your best to keep things as simple as possible, because success revolves around simplicity, a clear and mutual understanding by society. Well, I hope this helps you with better results on defense and minimize your resource losses as much as possible with the new update. So if this video helped you, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't to support my channel. And I'll see you guys again soon. Later.